You always wanted to be a director. A director since I was about nine or 10, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and when you got on Saturday Night Live, mm -hmm. you quit after five weeks because you were like, I don't want to be in sketches and I don't want to write jokes. I want to just direct stuff. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I just wanted to make short films and I knew that I wasn't good live because I, I would get nervous. But Lauren hired you. I had made a short film that I sold to Saturday Night Live earlier uh, that was a takeoff on The Color of Money. That oh, John wow. Lovitz brought up to Lauren to show. Can you turn it on, turn it off? Turn it on, turn it off. Can you turn it on, turn it off? Turn it on, turn it off. Stop saying what I'm saying. Stop saying what you're saying. So you figured, hey, I'll join Saturday Night Live. I'll do like an Albert Brooks thing where I can just produce yes. little short films for them. Right. That would have been an interesting thing. Yeah, I, and, and yeah, and that's really what, was what I wanted to do. But I just felt I was I just felt I couldn't do well in that situation. That was why. Who was there when you were there? Like, um, it was Lovitz and Dennis Miller you know, and Nora these, Dunn and yeah. yeah. I picture like a guy like Dennis Miller being so quick with comedy that like <laughs> if you're sitting in a room with him and you're not coming up with something witty every five minutes, you're ready to hang yourself. Yeah. It, yes. And right? it was a very, you know, and they were the big boys there and you know, and there was, it was very competitive and do some of these comedians like guys on Saturday Night Live who are established like Dennis Miller, Lovitz, all these guys. Do they kind of also have a chip on their shoulder toward you because you grew up in a showbiz family? Do they go, hey, prove yourself. You're not like us. Uh, I don't know. Really? You know, it depended on the... Pro I mean, John Lovitz, literally, I was doing a play where uh, I had a really small part, but the play was very successful. Right. And when, when I made that little short film and Lovitz came to see the play and that's how I reached out to him about bringing this little movie, this short I made up to Saturday Night Live. Like he literally just so he was supportive. Yeah, he did me a favor and brought it up to to Lorne. When you showed up just uh, this past season as Michael Cohen, mm -hmm. uh, Donald Trump's guy, mm -hmm. you know the lawyer. Is your name Michael Cohen? Yes. And you're a lawyer, ish. <laughs> I was surprised to see you on there. Like, how do you suddenly show up on a sketch? It was weird. I um, I actually had emailed Lorne about wanting to take my daughter to the show. My daughter's 16, and she'd never been to Saturday Night Live, and I wanted. I said, hey, let's let's go. What does she want to be? Does she want to be an actress? She does. Oh, yeah. Vey. Oh, yeah. Vey. Oh, yeah. Vey. And, and, and when you say you want to go to the show, are you going to sit in the audience, or are you going to take her backstage like, and kind of like let her to hang, see? Like to hang out backstage. Right. You can hang out in the green room. You know, you can well, maybe watch you're a good father. Them. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, one of those things that you can take advantage of. Like, hey, I'd like, you know, anything to impress my daughter. Father of the year. I'll, I'll, take advantage of whatever, whatever oh, I can do. Please um, adopt me. And, um, and so anyway, I sent him the email and then he sent me back an email the next day saying, uh, sure. Sounds fun. Great. Um, and Oh, by the way, do you happen to have a Michael Cohen impression lying around? Oh, and wow. I, yeah. Which in his inimitable Lauren style. 